Hi, this is Ed Duclos, Tech Content Coach, South Windsor School District. And today I just want to take a, a few minutes and show you how you can create a class template in Google Classroom. So here's the situation. You have your classroom finally all set up. I know we went through a lot of changes, but you have it perfect, exactly the way that you like it right now. And let's say you teach a half of your course. So now you're going to teach another section in the second half of the year. So you say, hey, I want to have it exactly the same way. Well, now you can do that. If you come to your Google Classroom and just the classes page, when you click on the three dots, you'll see that it has a copy. And that means that you can actually come in and copy everything. Um, it will actually copy a, all of your um, assignments and everything along those lines into a whole new course for you. A couple of things to keep in mind, however, is that you will not be able to any of the teacher announcements or your deleted classwork things will not get copied over and another thing to keep in mind is your students obviously won't be copied over now here's the thing that you need to know right now you'll notice that when you start the school year you're your classroom is already set up and all you need to do is just accept the invitation it is um, synced through an app called little sis it is synced with uh, PowerSchool. So anytime that you have an adjustment in your class, it will also um, uh, adjust. Now, you're going to forego that. You're going to have to invite your students manually if you want to go through this. It's not incredibly pain painstaking, but there is a trade-off. Okay, now, if you come back to the original thing, you have your class set up the way that you want it. Or maybe you exactly you don't right now, so you want to adjust it a little bit. Um, an earlier video I talked about how you can set up your classroom. Like for instance, you can set it up by units. You see here, typical unit, unit one, unit two, etc. You could set it up and organize it by week. You could come in here and a type of assignment. Uh, for elementary schools, maybe you decided that it's going to be by subject area, and you can even just have a today topic kind of thing. Okay, but now you have it exactly the way that you want and you know that you can go ahead and copy it. So here's what it's going to look like. You come in here and you say, I want to copy. Now, you'll get this right here, and it's copy of and everything along those lines. My suggestion, I would leave everything else blank because you want to be able to adjust um, things when it does copy over. It may take a little while, but when you copy it, I'll have a copy of the class. Now, here's a nice thing which you can do. You could actually end up copying it and making a classroom template that this template now that's what I'm going to call it is Google Classroom template or class template or something along those lines now anytime that I want to go ahead and set up one of my courses I always have a template to work from and then the class template Now, if you're wondering right here what it's going to look like when you get it all copied over eventually, as you can see everything here, it, it keeps the, um, the topic heading, it keeps the name of the assignment, it has no due date, and it's in draft form. So you will simply come in and you can edit everything, changing the due dates, changing the, um, um, the, um, anything and everything that you want. All right. Um, I think that this is going to help a lot of people, especially for this year, um, going from first semester to second semester, if you have half your courses, and then keep this in mind, obviously, for next year. Hopefully, this has been helpful. As always, let me know how I can help you. Have yourself a great day.